In this tutorial I want to look at how we can use the new enclosure command to help protect some of your IP. So there's a couple of ways of doing it. One's to work with assembly components and um, another one is to just work on an um, individual part. So this one here we've got some specific um, design that helps us with our um, market. So if we just open up this um, part here and um, for this one we're not interested in the assembly so we'll just use control Q to hide that and um, something unique to our design is, is this um, uh, cut out in here so what I want to do is um, if, if I wanted to um, give this out to someone else I um, may want to hide this feature so we can go to um, enclosure and I can use box inside cylinder or outside cylinder so if we go uh, box in this case and we want to choose from one of these options in this case we want to go with the feature and we want to just select this one in here and accept that and then we want to um, pick a plane to define the orientation of the box so if we just click on this plane here what that does is it builds in um, an enclosure over the top of that feature so that um, any, any sort of um, information is hidden away so if we scroll down into the um, part you'll see that we have um, this feature added in here so when we um, maybe send that out to someone else it will actually hide that information so that nobody else can see it. Um, the other way that we can do it is that um, we may have some something specific in this um, cap on the top here but um, what we'll do is we'll enter into the um, engine and use this cap as the um, intent um, to hide it. So if we get, again go to our enclosure command and instead of using box this time we will use the inside cylinder so it's just going to create a cylindrical um, feature so we'll go with assembly components pick the component we want to use as our um, region to um, cover up and we'll accept that and we'll start it on this plane here and what that does is it just builds a um, if it's put a block over the top of that and again it's added it into um, the feature tree so if we um, come out of there and go back to our assembly you'll notice that that is now um, hidden those two features which are unique to our design and we can actually send that out to other companies now and um, that will protect our intellectual property.